Hello, Watchers, and the hearing is already started, so... The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Oh yeah, he's paying. He's paying bad. You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. What the no race right fuck? To say that. That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander? You've Shepard? made your decision. I won't waste my breath. What a bunch of assholes and politicians. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Ooh, Geth. What a surprise. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'd, I'd. I'm glad to see justice was served. Yeah, that's just this. Is what a surprise. But hey. At least now we have a purpose. We have to find this he asshole and kill him. Bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. Oh, he's an asshole too. Our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Well, he could be useful. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loot. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. No. Oh. Just be careful. Look at Cut Harkin. What the fuck is going on? What's this? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Mm, well, he's a monster. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. We saw him in action. In the ambassador's office if you need anything else. He killed his own friend and comrade in arms. 
so we have a new mission. We have to go to this Koras den and that guy's up to something. Yeah, but I don't care what he's up. Pick a fish to fry. Okay. Members is back consort final district now. Oh yes, Koras den. So, let's go to this den of Cora and see this drunken bastard. That's him. I think I'm going to need a better weapon. What the hell was that all about? Okay, I don't remember what button bolsters my weapon. Oh, chair, let's sit down. Oh, yes, let's relax. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I got business here, but not with you. Oh, the general is here. Commander. What do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me, Septimus Oraka, general of the Turian fleet. <laughs> what a fucking pathetic little creature. <laughs> Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. So, somebody breaks his heart, and he goes all little princess. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? One place I always felt at peace was with her, but now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right, I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. <laughs> Sneaky bastard. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Yeah, uh, might as well. His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well... Here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. Okay. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you Ooh. down if you showed up. Cutscene. I'm waiting for. I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only. What the hell are these? Smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. 
This story is just beginning. What are these turtles? Out of my way, humans. I have nothing to do with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Yeah. Let's try and find this Harkin dude. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Let's go to the point. Looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first yes, I knew that it. Honor, and then he blew it. And then this screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, better fuck him up like he fucked us up. And uh, no, I'm not here for that. Garris was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Oh, excellent. We have a level. And. Why didn't Captain Anderson we have to go to Spectre. another side of this. Place. Okay, what's in here? Ooh. Let's talk more. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies. Yes, yes, I want supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Yeah, standard items. Uh, yeah, uh, where the hell I'm going to find that kind of money? Shit. Even that grenade upgrade is too much. Well, nice, but shit. Don't need any of those. Can't use those. So why might as well go this way and see what's in here? Is that really your commander? Let's Shepherd, talk to this one. The hero of Eden Prime. Yes, I'm a hero. So honored to meet you. Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. Oh, great, a fan. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Nope. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. Good. He understood it. No time for. Okay. Hello, Earth Clan. Who's he? No doubt Hello. Just come back from the colonies. Will you be yes. Supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Oh, I hope so too. Oh, great, Eddie Grant. Yeah, I can have that license. No, no, no. No. I can't use any of those. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. And cheat. And next time we shall explore this place even more and find this. Um, Garus, whatever the hell the name was, and we shall do whatever it takes to find that asshole who 
kill his friend and destroyed our colony and so forth. So, until then, bye.